Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, uh, Off Grid Investor, this is Dolph. Today in this video, I would like to talk about the um, whole situation with the GameStop and you know, uh, AMC and all that in the market. Uh, personally, I really didn't enjoy, you know, the things going on. Uh, obviously, you know, like um, my portfolio uh, got a little hit today. I'm sure a lot of you out there um, probably had, you know, pretty pretty big red day today because the neural market pretty went, you know, uh, went down pretty, you know, pretty hard today. So um, how many how many of you all tr were trading uh, the AMC or the GameStop today? Uh, I was. Um, trading AMC a little bit. Uh, so I made a little gains, uh, like day trading. But um, this whole thing, you know, in the market, you know, I just didn't, didn't like the way where it's going. Of course, you know, the big, today we had a big earnings, you know, like Facebook, Apple, and uh, the Tesla. And then of course I was watching carefully and how uh, the earning, you know, the result is going. They all went down. Yeah, Apple went down and so as, so as uh, the Tesla. And so as you know, the uh, Facebook and all that. Um, but I did, I just I wanted to uh, mention that I took a lot of, um, um, I trimmed a lot of my position today. So that includes uh, the CC Ivory. Uh, it, you know, it dipped a little bit today, yeah, but I didn't care. I just, um, I took the, you know, um, pretty good profit off of that. And of course, you know, you know that uh, from my previous video, um, I recently purchased the CLII. I also took the, you know, the profit off of that. And I wanted to, um, take the, all the, you know, like the position out from all my, all my penny stock. So that includes, um, ISO Ray, ticker symbol ISR. Yeah. And Sundial Grower, uh, the ticker symbol SNDL. And, uh, also, um, uh, Transentrix ticker symbol TLXC. So I get got rid of all that position. I wanted to let uh, uh, let you guys know that. And I took a you know a pretty good profit off of uh, the Palantir. Today uh, it ended up uh, uh, going like 10, 10.26% up still, you know, at, at the end of the market. Um, uh, but I, I um, towards the end of uh, the market, I took the, all the profit off of the Palantir as well, because I I didn't know like how this you know the market is going to go. I, I just had a little you know the bad feeling about this, um, and um, I took a lot of um, the position with big chunk uh, from Neo, Tesla as well too. I kind of feel, you know, that people were expecting the, the Tesla will go up or down, like, uh, you know, 6%. That's what I was expecting. And I had a feeling that it, it would probably go down. Um, yeah, I had, I had a feeling that Tesla was going to go down. Um, and, and I didn't, I, I did expect, you know, it's not going to move much. Um, but yeah, I was, I was, I was kind of betting on the, you know, the Tesla going down and it, it did. So, um, we'll see how the market, you know, will react, uh, with all this earning, uh, the tomorrow, but because of the Tesla going down, you know, and you know, the Apple, some, some people may, you know, like see my, my see it as a great chance, you know, chance to pick up some more share on Apple and Tesla. Uh, I can see that. Um, but, uh, to me, you know, I'd rather to, you know, kind of wait a little bit see a few more days and see like how, how the market reacts. And just because all, you know, like I, I trimmed a lot today, it might be actually a good opportunity for you, for you, you, you guys out there, you know, I'll be, you know, the setting up the new, uh, uh, the positions, you know, uh, with the different stocks maybe, or the maybe same stock. Uh, but my strategy is, you know, when the market goes down, if you pull out, or takes out take out some you know the profit, that is already you you are making money uh, if you time it right. Uh, but at least you know like you're not losing money if the market tanks. You know that's also making money in a way. That's how I see it. So I took uh, I took the profit off of uh, plug plug power as well too. It went up quite a bit uh, so far. 
So now, you know, I, th I thought, you know, now is a good time to take some profit off of it. And I uh, got rid of uh, the Lock Lockheed Martin ticker symbol LMT. Um, I know I, I told you guys how much I love uh, uh, the stocks and I, I, I will uh, start the position again uh, in, in very near future. Same as uh, the Goldman Sachs as well. Uh, I took a little bit, uh, you know, the position off from that. So hold, I don't know if you guys uh, the watch, you know, the uh, the interview with the Chamath, you know, um, today. So I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't remember the guy's names who were interviewing the Chamath, uh, but he was pretty much, seems like he was blaming like the Chamath, you know, like the pumping up the stocks of GameStop because he did purchase and he did a tweet, tweet on his Twitter, you know, like, and, but um, I thought it was, you know, great move for him, you know, like he donated it, all this profit uh, to the retailers or something, you know, like I heard, um, but basically, you know, like he was advocating all the small retailer. And at the same time, you know, the, uh, the whoever, whoever the, the, the interviewer, he was trying to kind of like the blame, you know, Chameth, you know, for, uh, or, 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 you know, like pumping up the stock or advocating the small retailer. But just because, you know, like uh, now they're all this, you know, big hedge fund or the institution, you know, they, they lost like the billions of billions of dollars. I don't know who's behind, but, you know, like, you, you I'm sure you have heard uh, the wall, you know, the Wall Street bet is closed. Yeah. I don't know if it is like happened to be coincidence or the somebody you know the big you know the power behind you know like controlling this i don't know i just i just didn't like the market today uh just the whole thing um because you know like it is to me like it is a fair game uh like you know like chameth was saying like back in you know 2008 or 2009 all those small retailer got hit you know, people like the losing, you know, their, you know, the mortgage, you know, the homes, you know, because because of a big, you know, um, uh, the inst institution and, you know, um, the hedge fund, you know, they were, uh, they were the cause to crash, you know, like the market and they got the bailed out, you know, the, from the governments, but all the small retailers, you know, they ended up, you know, the, you know, uh, the losing the money and all that. Uh, so now because, you know, the, this time the small retailers, you know, just, you know, bidding up the, you know, the hedge fund or, you know, the institution. Now they're just trying to, you know, the, you know, make it sound like all this, you know, the retailers, you know, dumb, you know, all these people, you know, who are, I mean, all these people like who are investing on the GameStop. I mean, nobody, nobody thinks, you know, the GameStop is worth more than 300. Of course not. Yes. But you know what I like to say is like have fun, you know. This is like you are get you know, uh, getting a part of you know the history actually. Uh, that's how I see it, and it is only like you know three hundred dollars per share. I mean, it depends on you know how much you're willing to risk. But you know the people will go to Las Vegas, you know, to go to cas casino, you know, like spend money, you know, to have fun, you know, with the family or even you know like uh, as long as you see and know the what the you know the risk is and still have fun and at the same time you know make your money i think you know if you think that much just for that much you know um treat this one gamestop or amc or all this you know the squeeze uh um short squeeze stock that you play as long as you're willing to take whatever the amounts that you're willing to take the risk i think it is just fine you know, but I, I, you know, I just, it was just, I don't know, it, it was just bothering me to listen to all this, uh, the things, and because of all this, you know, the windfall, after all, you know, like, the, you know, even, the, I think that has a lot to do with the, all these earnings, you know, going down, because, like, people people just didn't like the, you know, whole market is going, how the market is going. Uh, so we'll see, you know, the how the mark you know, the market opens tomorrow. I'm very curious. It might, you know, like deep down, like after right, right after the market opens, you know, it may deep down, but then, you know, some, some, you know, uh, 
some investors you may think you know it is um, uh, the great opportunity. So what I want to like to warn you guys it is like you know you may just you know the price may you know the go up you know like sh short term, but then you know the people may just like, oh you know like the maybe the the price will go up and you know feeling the FOMO jumping on it, but then it might go down a whole lot more after that, you know, just like, so I don't want you guys, you know, to hold the bags, you know, um, the delayed on or, you know, getting onto the bull, bull trap, you know, what the bull trap is, you know, uh, so uh, try to be, try to be careful. That's what I, I wanted to, uh, to tell you guys. And um, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, Kind of watch a couple of days carefully and see how the market goes and i'm gonna start all the you know uh, uh the new positions um so um of course you know i'll make some uh, more videos um so please uh, uh click the like button and turn the notification you know so that you'll get notified when i uh, purchase you know another stock or so yeah that's it for today's um and be careful out there and I'll see you guys later. Bye.